displacement reactions. Now let us learn about how metals react with salts and the products formed. Generally when a metal reacts with a compound, it displaces another metal from its compound in the aqueous solution. This type of reaction are called as displacement reaction. For example, For example let, let us take a beaker and add, add copper sulfate, sulfate which, which is blue, blue in color, color and, and add zinc, zinc granules in it. After some time you can find the formation of zinc sulfate which is colorless as the zinc displaces the copper from copper sulfate. And a red color After copper precipitate some time, you can is find formed at the, the bottom of the zinc beaker. Sulfate, which is now let us experiment using copper sulfate and iron. Take a beaker and add copper sulfate and a small piece of iron in it. After some time you can find the formation of iron sulphate as the iron displaces the copper from copper sulphate and copper precipitate is formed at the bottom of the beaker. However, when we perform the same experiment with zinc sulphate and copper, copper will not be able to displace the zinc from the zinc sulphate and the reason behind this is zinc is more reactive than copper. When we perform the same experiment with iron sulphate and copper, Copper will not be able to displace the iron from the iron sulphate because iron is more reactive than copper. In the same way, when we perform the same experiment with zinc sulphate and iron, iron will not be able to displace the zinc from the zinc sulphate because zinc is more reactive than iron. So we can conclude that a more reactive metal can replace or displace a less reactive metal but a less reactive metal cannot displace the more reactive metal and zinc is most reactive metal and copper is the least reactive metal among zinc, copper and iron.